all right guys what's up so today's video is actually a little bit different but today we are going over the five things i hate about my obs chevy and this isn't necessarily just things that are gm like gm's fault this is geared towards my truck in particular so with that being said let's go ahead and jump into today's video all right number one it is these mirrors these mirrors are terrible they are a pain to move this way but they're super easy to move this way since they are so easy to move that way on the interstate where i live some of the speed limits are 80. they will just come in sometimes so that kind of sucks another thing about the mirrors so I'm gonna get some hate for this one, but it just, it looks weird. The sport mirrors, like the 454 SS mirrors would look way better on this truck. It just reminds me of like the second did, second gen Dodge owners with the tow mirrors out. It just looks ridiculous. There's no need for these mirrors. But the truck do be looking good with, in that sunlight. But moving on to number two most of these are in the interior by the way is the light switch and i know it's probably just broken it is a new light switch but i know the piece behind it's probably just broken so but it's just something that kind of irritates me it's not a huge deal but turn your lights on like normal you know you're supposed to be able to hit this for them to turn off but the whole thing just goes back behind it kind of a pain but it's not a huge deal you just gotta pull them so that's number two number three is probably one of my biggest pet peeves just to make it easier to film i will walk around to the other side of the truck i don't know why gm thought this was a good idea and i'm sure if any of you guys know or own obs trucks you guys are going to know exactly what I'm going to do right now. The cup holders. These are the only two cup holders in the whole truck. They, they're they not even that deep. I mean, what is that going to hold? I'm sitting over here with a drink sitting over here. I take a turn. The drink's going in the glove box, all over the door all over the new carpet maybe even on the radio i mean it honestly would not have been that hard to just put a cup holder right here you know make it just like a little flip out something like that right here just do something just that's just one of my biggest puppies i mean we got these door pockets could have made just a little hoop right there for a cup to fit in that is another one of the things that I hate about my truck. So that was number three. So moving on to number four, I am gonna go back over to the other side of the truck now. And that is my gauges. Turn the truck on just so that you guys can see. The truck's been sitting here. You know, I live just a couple blocks that way, so it's not warm, but it says I'm at 260. So obviously that gauge don't work. It says I have zero oil pressure. I've had this truck for about a year now, and if it had zero oil pressure, it it would have blown up. Okay. I just filled up gas gas before I came here, and it only goes up to a quarter of a tank. And the, the way that you could tell that it's actually full is because I reset my trip every time I fill up a gas and only says 0.7. That's how I know when to refill up. And I got the battery voltage is at zero, zero volts. The truck would not have just started. It says I'm in park. You guys watch me shift all the way down to first. It says I'm still in park. The only thing that works is the trip, the mileage, and the speedometer, but 
that whoops that I'm not too worried about you know I can get all that fixed eventually I would go with like a Dakota digital dash or you know just something along those lines so that I do believe was number four I just broke my tripod that's not good clip that back on real quick so I could all right back in business number four I'm a big guy if any of you guys have met me in person I'm a big guy definitely too big to be riding in this regular cab truck with a bench seat and yeah it does have a bench seat like you guys have seen in the other videos and I got to crouch down so right there that's my eye level that's perfect right there if I'm sitting straight up you guys are looking at my eye level that's just a pain right there I can't be doing that so I gotta go like this otherwise if I'm sitting straight up I'm over here leaning leaning like this having my hand down on the on the seat or something like that and I understand it's a bench seat and it's nice you can fit three people and all that stuff but I mean I just wish there's some sort of center console or like a flip down like the NBS trucks do how they have like the center console built in you can flip it up and then it's a bench seat I think even some of the newer generation I think like 94 and up OBS's some of those have that as well just something like that I know it's not like a huge deal and yes it does have a bench seat and yes I'm getting buckets but just something to rest your arm on I'm a big guy you know I'm don't feel like hanging down here all the time but that's pretty much it that was oh geez there we go that was reason number five on why I hate my OBS truck and no I'm not hating on my truck I love my truck right I am grateful for having my truck but everybody has problems with their cars you know everybody has those little things that annoys them with their vehicles that just happens to be the five things that I don't like or that annoy me about my truck and I know this was kind of a different style video than what I normally post but if you guys like this video make sure to leave a thumbs up drop a subscribe maybe and uh, let me know if you want to see more maybe five things I like about my truck or Maybe I'll do a video on, you know, how far it's came in the last year because, believe it or not, I have owned this truck for a year and a month. Actually, a year and two months. So I got this truck last May. It is now almost June or almost July. I got it beginning of May, so almost a year and two months now. But, um, yeah, so if you guys like the video, drop a like, drop a subscribe. Make sure to follow me on Instagram. Link is in the bio. And uh, thank you guys for watching, and you guys have a good one.